Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you how you can launch a temporary server on your Kali Linux, which is your attacker machine, and transfer files from a Kali Linux to your Windows machine. Or you can also transfer to another Linux machine like Ubuntu. So the purpose of doing that is that sometimes you may need to transfer some tools from your attacker machine to the victim machine. So that is one way you can do it effectively using the temporary server. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first, make sure that your Kali Linux has the Python installed. So in this case, I have a Python. Then from here, let's take a look at the file that I want to transfer. So this is the file. So let's see the content of this file. So as you can see here, this file has uh, the following content. So what I want to do now is, let me clear the screen first, is to launch the Python server. Simple HTTP server. So by default, the port is actually 8000. So if there are certain specific port that you want, you can also specify over here, let's like say 443. So it was style port 443. But by default, it's actually 8000. So if you do not specify the port, it will start the port at 8000. So now we are at a Ubuntu machine. So what you can do is to use the wget command to get the files and retrieve it from a Kali machine to the Ubuntu machine. So you can do a output. Let's say you want to rename it as another file. So you can put as ping2.txt, then go to the location of your Kali machine and just put pin.txt. So you see the directory is actually, oh, sorry. So you also need to specify the port. So you, let's say your, so the port is uh, 8,000, right? So you need to specify the port and then it will download the file from where your temporary server is at. So in this case, it's at this location, okay? So let's do that. Let's press enter. So it's connected and it's downloaded. So now it's being renamed as ping2.txt. So as you can see, the file has successfully transferred. So if let's say you do not want to rename the file, you can simply just remove this and just press enter. As you can see now, by default, it will download the file that you are calling from. So if you do not specify the output file, by default, it will just download the file as it is. So as you can see here, ping.txt. So how can we transfer files from the attacker machine, which is the Kali machine, to the Windows machine? So over here, you, look, you can load up the terminal. Afterwards, you can load the following command. So you can see here we are using PowerShell and this is the command that we are launching. And you can see that this is the address of the Kali machine and this is the port that we are interacting with. And then this is the file that we want. And this is the destination, which in this case is we want to look at the desktop. So once you're happy with this, you just click enter. So as you can see now, the file has been successfully transferred. So if you open this file, as you can see, this is the data. So that's it for a short tutorial. I hope that you have learned something out from this. Thank you for your time, and I will see you in the next video.